Our readings today are taken from the book of Ezra chapter 1 and chapter 2, Hosea chapter 5 and Acts 21 and 22. The theme of our thought is Rise and be baptised. The circumstances vary greatly that lead to decisions to be baptised and take on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that he is our spiritual elder brother and God truly our Father. In a very real sense, we must feel we have become or are becoming part of a new family, a spiritual family. Our thoughts on this were prompted by today's reading of Acts chapter 22, in which Paul describes his experiences when he returns to Jerusalem. There is an uproar in the temple, and a Roman tribune sends soldiers to rescue him. Paul obtains permission to speak to the crowd, and he says, Hear the defence that I now make before you, verse 1. He states how he was zealous for God, as all of you are this day, in verse 3. But it was a zeal of the old law that came to an end when Christ was crucified as the sacrifice that fulfilled the old law. See 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. In his zeal for the old law, Paul, then called Saul, says how he persecuted the followers of Christ until he was humbled on the road to Damascus and led into the city blind. Ananias, a devout believer and convert in Damascus, comes to him with a divine message. The God of our fathers appointed you to know his will, he says in verse 14. Today, if we are motivated to seek the real meaning of life, we too can know his will, and should know it, if we have been baptised as Paul then was. Paul goes on to describe how he was told by Ananias, Why do you wait? Rise and be baptised, and wash away your sins, calling on his name, in chapter 22 and verse 16. Baptism washes away the past and gives us a wonderful new start in life, to real life. Until we made or make the, that decision, we were or are dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2 and 5 and chapter 4 and verse 5 amplifies this point. For each one of us, the circumstances at the point of that decision were or will be different, but the result is the same. Paul told the Galatians that God has sent the Spirit of his Son into our hearts, and they had become an heir through God. Chapter 4 and verse 6 and 7. And a new creation in chapter 6 verse 15. Let us be faithful so that we receive the inheritance we are now heir to. Remembering Paul's words to the Ephesian elders that we read two days ago and making them personal to ourselves. I commend you to God and the word of his grace which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance. Acts chapter 20 and verse 32. That is why we must read God's word every day.